Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dylan EDU, and here in Canada, we vote in federal elections every four years or less to elect members of Parliament to Canada's lower house, the House of Commons. This is much like every other country with a Parliament. Some have unicameral systems with a single chamber, others have bicameral systems with another chamber that also has the ability to pass laws from this first chamber. Canada is in this second category. Canada's upper chamber is called the Senate. The Canadian Senate has 105 members, who are all appointed by the Prime Minister and approved by the Governor General. Canada's Senators serve until they are 75 years old, when they are automatically kicked out of office and their seats become vacant. Canada's Senate seats are distributed in a very odd way, where Quebec and Ontario each have 24 seats, and the four western provinces have 6 seats each, for a total of 24 seats. New Brunswick and Nova Scotia each have 10 seats, despite having a lot less people than Alberta with 6 seats. PEI has 4 seats, and Newfoundland and Labrador has 6 seats, and all of the territories have 1 seat. In conclusion, it makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. Our Senate differs from the US Senate, with 2 Senators from each of all 50 states who serve 6 year elected terms. Canada's Senate is supposed to be the chamber of sober second thought in which amendments can be proposed to laws and there can be another review on legislation. If the Senate makes changes, it can send them back to the House to vote on them and the House can amend their amendments and this back and forth lasts until the House and Senate both pass an identical law, which the Governor General approves. The Senate in practice never actually rejects a bill. The furthest they usually go is amending a bill to be unrecognizable to its house form, which makes everyone mad, causes a media stir, and results in calls for the Senate's abolition. Now, people don't like the Senate for the very reason that it is unelected and thus very disconnected from the public. When Justin Trudeau was elected in 2015, in Sunny ways, my friends, sunny ways. Independent advisory board to recommend Senate appointees. His plan for a nonpartisan independent Senate stems back to his leadership of the Liberal Party pre prime ministership, when he fired all of the Liberal Party senators from his party to sit as independents. This didn't do anything, though, as these senators just joined an independent Liberal caucus, which merged into the modern day progressive Senate caucus. And Trudeau's independent Senate committee has still produced partisan appointees. But the truth is, Trudeau has been far from the first person to raise concerns about the Senate. Stephen Harper tried to look into Senate reform and making the Senate somewhat more accountable to the public, but the Supreme Court killed his plans when they ruled that reforming the Senate would take 7 out of 10 of the provinces to agree, plus Ottawa, and abolishing the Senate would take all 10 provinces to agree, plus Ottawa. Preston Manning, the former leader of the pro-Western Canada Reform Party, also proposed Senate reform with his famous Triple E proposal, elected, effective, and equal. Equal means every province has an equal amount of senators, effective means the Senate actually does something, and elected means, well, elected. The failed Meech Lake Accords called for equal Senate representation for the Western provinces and the Eastern provinces, and that senators serve one nine-year term. The Charlottetown Accords also called for provinces to have an equal amount of senators, which would be elected and followed Tripoli, but would also include indigenous representation, which is something people have tried to use as a talking point in the reform debate. Now, other countries have upper chambers like our Senate, but are more representative. Let's look at some of the proposed forms of Senate reform. This is the most straightforward proposal, abolish the Senate. However, this would require all 10 provinces and the federal government, including the Senate, to vote by a majority in all legislative chambers to abolish the Senate. This is tough because getting 11 governments to agree on something just isn't easy, and it removes any form of second thought on the laws. Also, the Senate would have to vote to get rid of itself, which would be very tough as they aren't accountable to anyone, but it would remove the possibility of unelected politicians blocking laws passed by a democratically elected chamber. There are also proposals to elect the Senate. Systems vary from ranked ballots to top 10 candidates, you name it. I don't have time to talk about it all, but basically the people would elect the Senate. Most people that support this usually support the redistribution of the seats, either to 10 for each province, proportional to each province, 
or some other weird way that makes more sense than our current very weird system. This would give the Senate more legitimacy to do things and change laws, and less uproar if something were to be vetoed. But there is also a fear that this could create deadlock if the two houses were controlled by different parties. Also, they would again have to get the Senate to agree to make itself elected, which could be tough as these senators who aren't accountable to anyone might not want to risk losing their jobs. A take I have seen from political experts on Twitter is adopting a German style system where the seats are distributed in a coherent way among the provinces, but the seats are filled by provincial governments, not voters. This is basically a compromise between keeping the Senate appointed and involving the provinces. Now, this doesn't address deadlock concerns or democracy concerns, but I don't know. I make the videos and not the opinions. Plus, who doesn't love Germany? But what do you think? Should we abolish the Senate? Do you like how it is? What do you think about Senate reform? Let me know in the comments down below. If this video gets 60 likes, I will make a follow-up video focusing on what an elected Senate would look like. But apart from that, have a good rest of your day and see you.